Welcome back to Brain Bite Size. Today, we're embarking on a captivating exploration of personality types as we delve into the intriguing topic of the 10 weaknesses of the INFJ personality. Number 1 Privacy Complex. INFJs, known for their compassion and sensitivity, often have a paradoxical relationship with the outer world. They are deeply empathetic individuals who can connect with others emotionally, yet they also have a strong need for privacy that can make them seem aloof or detached. This inherent desire for solitude stems from their reflective nature and the value they place on their inner world. INFJs are deep thinkers, constantly processing their feelings and thoughts internally. This mental process is solitary, and they often prefer to do it away from prying eyes. Moreover, as compassionate individuals, they may find the outside world overwhelming, leading them to retreat into their private shells for respite. The downside of this privacy complex is that it can make INFJs challenging to get to know. They may appear distant or unapproachable, even if they don't intend to be. This can be frustrating for those around them who wish to understand them better or build deeper relationships with them. Their mysterious aura, while intriguing, can also create misunderstandings or misconceptions about their true character. Despite their compassionate hearts and sincere desire to help others, the INFJ's privacy complex can sometimes hinder genuinely intimate connections. This tendency to shut themselves off from the outside world, while a coping mechanism for their sensitive nature, is a significant weakness that can hinder their relationships and social interactions. Number 2 Lack of Attention to Details INFJs are big-picture thinkers who excel at seeing overarching patterns and making connections between seemingly unrelated concepts. This ability allows them to understand complex systems and envision long-term outcomes, which can be incredibly beneficial in many situations. However, this focus on the larger view can sometimes come at the expense of the finer details. INFJs may need to pay attention to essential particulars, especially when deeply engrossed in their conceptual world. This trait can lead to errors or oversights that could have been avoided more meticulously. It's important to remember the adage, the devil is in the details. While having a broad perspective is admirable and necessary, the specifics often hold the key to success. Whether it's the exact wording of a contract, the subtle cues in a social interaction, or the precise measurements in a recipe, these details can make a significant difference in the outcome. For INFJs, this weakness can manifest in various ways. It might mean missing deadlines because they needed to pay attention to dates, understanding instructions due to skimming over the specifics, or even overlooking someone's feelings because they needed to catch up in their thoughts. Number 3 Difficulty in Confrontation As peace-loving individuals, INFJs have a natural aversion to conflict. They value harmony in their relationships and often go to great lengths to maintain it. While admirable in many respects, this trait can also lead to challenges when confrontation is necessary. One of the main issues is that INFJs tend to avoid difficult conversations, particularly those that could lead to disagreement or tension. This avoidance can sometimes hinder open and honest communication. While it's understandable to want to keep the peace, there are times when addressing problems directly is essential for maintaining healthy relationships and resolving issues effectively. This struggle with confrontation also means that INFJs may suppress their feelings to avoid conflicts. However, this can lead to resentment and frustration over time. INFJs must understand that expressing their emotions and standing up for their needs is not synonymous with being confrontational or aggressive. It's about asserting oneself in a respectful and considerate way. Another aspect of this weakness is that when INFJs do engage in confrontation, they might take things too personally. They are sensitive, making them more susceptible to feeling hurt during disagreements. This sensitivity can turn constructive criticism into personal attacks on their perception, further discouraging them from confrontations. Number 4 Oversensitivity INFJs are known for their deep empathy and emotional intelligence, traits that make them highly attuned to the feelings of others. However, this sensitivity can also make them vulnerable to emotional distress, especially when they face criticism or challenges to their principles. One of the main issues with this oversensitivity is how INFJs handle criticism. They tend to take it very personally, interpreting it as an attack on their character rather than constructive feedback. This perception can lead to feelings of hurt and rejection and may cause them to shut down or withdraw from the situation. 
INFJS needs to learn to separate itself from the criticism and see it as an opportunity for growth and improvement, not a personal indictment. Another aspect of their oversensitivity is how deeply INFJs hold onto their principles. They have strong values and ideals, and any challenge can be deeply distressing. This can result in defensive reactions or intense emotional turmoil. While solid convictions are commendable, it's also necessary to understand that differing viewpoints are not personal attacks but opportunities for learning and broadening perspectives. Oversensitivity can also lead to overthinking for INFJs. Because they deeply feel things, they may dwell on negative experiences or perceived slights longer than necessary. This can result in unnecessary stress and anxiety, preventing them from moving forward. Number 5. Idealism. INFJs are known for their visionary nature, often envisioning a world that aligns perfectly with their values and ideals. They strive for perfection, not just in themselves but also in their surroundings and relationships. This idealism, while inspiring, can sometimes set them up for disappointment when reality doesn't match up to their expectations. One major challenge for INFJs is dealing with the disparity between their idealistic visions and the harsh realities of life. They may become disillusioned when things don't go as planned, or people don't live up to their high standards. This can lead to frustration, dissatisfaction, and, sometimes, a sense of failure. INFJs must remember that perfection is an unrealistic goal and that it's okay for things to be imperfect. Furthermore, their lofty ambitions can sometimes seem overwhelming, leading to paralysis or burnout. INFJs need help progressing toward their goals because they aim for the perfect outcome immediately. Breaking down these big ambitions into smaller, manageable steps is essential. This approach allows them to make steady progress while celebrating small victories. Number 6. Easily overwhelmed. INFJs are deeply committed to their ideals and often dedicate themselves fully to realizing these ambitions. While this dedication is commendable, it can also lead them to take on more than they can handle, resulting in feelings of overwhelm and even burnout. In phase desire to make a difference and their perfectionistic tendencies often mean they set high expectations for themselves. They may overcommit to tasks, believing they must do everything to the highest standard. This approach, however, can lead to a heavy workload, which can take time to sustain in the long run. INFJS must learn to set realistic expectations and understand that asking for help or delegating tasks is okay when needed. Their intense focus on their goals can also mean that INFJs neglect their needs, including rest and self-care. They might push themselves to keep going, ignoring signs of stress and fatigue until they reach the point of burnout. This is particularly problematic because INFJs may need a long time to recover and regain their energy once overwhelmed. Another factor contributing to INFJs feeling overwhelmed is their environmental sensitivity. They are highly affected by negativity or conflict around them, which can further add to their stress levels. Developing strategies to manage their emotional responses to external stimuli can be beneficial in preventing overwhelm. Number 7. Trusting too quickly. INFJs are known for their deep empathy and understanding, often leading them to see the best in people. While this optimistic outlook makes INFJs warm and compassionate individuals, it can also make them vulnerable, particularly regarding manipulation. INFJs believe in the inherent goodness of people and are often quick to offer their trust. They may overlook red flags or dismiss doubts because they want to believe in the positive potential they see in others. However, this trust can sometimes be misplaced, leading INFJs to be taken advantage of by less scrupulous individuals. This vulnerability to manipulation is further heightened by INFJ's desire to help and heal others. They may find themselves drawn to individuals who need support or guidance, and while this altruism is admirable, it can also leave them open to those who might exploit their kindness for personal gain. Number 8. Losing Identity. INFJs are naturally skilled at adapting to others, a trait that stems from their empathetic nature and intuitive understanding of human behavior. They can effortlessly mirror the emotions and behaviors of those around them, making others feel understood and comfortable. However, this chameleon-like ability can sometimes lead INFJs to blur the line between who they are and who they're trying to be. Due to their strong desire to connect with others and avoid conflict, INFJs might find themselves changing or suppressing parts of their personality. They might adopt the interests, opinions, or behaviors of those around them, even if these don't align with their true selves. 
Over time, this can cause INFJs to lose sight of their identity, leading to confusion, dissatisfaction, and feeling disconnected from themselves. This loss of identity can also stem from INFJs' tendency to prioritize others' needs and feelings over their own. They may neglect their desires or values to maintain harmony or please others. This self-sacrificing behavior can leave INFJs feeling lost, as they've strayed too far from their authentic selves. To mitigate this weakness, INFJs must spend time alone reflecting on their needs, desires, and values. They need to regularly check in with themselves to ensure they're not losing themselves in their relationships or environments. Moreover, INFJs need to understand that it's okay to assert their own needs and that doing so doesn't make them selfish or uncaring. Number 9 Overly Cautious INFJs are naturally inclined towards careful planning and preparation. They prefer having a clear vision of the future and are often uncomfortable with uncertainty or spontaneity. While this characteristic can be beneficial in many cases, ensuring that they are well prepared and reducing the risk of unpleasant surprises, it can also hold them back from seizing unexpected opportunities. In phase preference for planning over spontaneity stems from the desire to maintain control over their environment and fear of the unknown. They may analyze potential outcomes and prepare for every possible scenario. While this thoroughness is part of their meticulous nature, it can lead to indecisiveness and missed opportunities. When unexpected opportunities arise, INFJs might hesitate, preferring to stick to their plans rather than venture into the unknown. The cautious nature can also prevent them from taking risks, even when these risks could lead to growth or progress. They might avoid new experiences or challenges out of fear of failure or discomfort, limiting their potential for personal and professional development. To overcome this weakness, INFJS needs to learn to embrace uncertainty and develop a level of comfort with spontaneity. This doesn't mean they should abandon their penchant for planning, but rather balance it with the ability to adapt and seize opportunities as they come. They need to understand that not all risks lead to adverse outcomes and that sometimes, stepping out of their comfort zone can lead to exciting new possibilities. Number 10 Lack of Competitiveness INFJs are inherently peace-loving individuals who value harmony and agreeableness above all else. They tend to avoid conflict, competition, and confrontations, instead fostering understanding and cooperation. However, this predisposition towards harmony can put them at a disadvantage in competitive situations. In environments that demand assertiveness and a competitive spirit, such as specific professional or academic settings, INFJs may need help. Their preference for collaboration over competition can make them seem passive or unambitious. They may also struggle to advocate for themselves or their ideas, particularly when challenging others or asserting their needs and desires. Furthermore, their aversion to competition might limit their opportunities for growth and advancement. They might miss promotions or other opportunities because they're unwilling to compete. They might also struggle to stand up for themselves in personal relationships, leading to imbalance or unfair treatment. However, it's important to note that being competitive doesn't necessarily mean being aggressive or confrontational. It can mean standing up for oneself, striving to achieve one's goals, and not backing down when faced with challenges. For INFJs, developing a healthy sense of competition could be beneficial. This doesn't mean they must change their values or become someone they're not. Instead, they can learn to balance their natural inclination for harmony with a willingness to compete when necessary. And there you have it, the 10 weaknesses of an INFJ personality. Knowing your weaknesses is the first step toward personal growth and self-improvement. Embrace your strengths, work on your weaknesses, and you'll find a more balanced and fulfilling life. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Thanks for joining us on Brain Bite Size, where we feed your mind one bite at a time.